Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB AI Tester Certification. We are in chapter 8 talking about testing AI specific quality characteristics and continuing with our next segment which is 8.2 Testing Autonomous AI Based Systems. Well, uh, in our previous tutorial, we spoke about how exactly the challenges can emerge when it comes to testing a general AI-based system, which is self-learning. And here we are talking about the autonomous, which is pretty much almost uh, kind of the same. But of course, it's, this is something which does everything on its own. So autonomous systems, again, to just recall back, must be able to determine when they require human intervention and when they do not, right? So we spoke about the cars like Tesla, which takes control from the human beings and gives back the control to human beings when they really need that. Therefore, testing the autonomy of AI-based system requires that conditions are created for the system to exercise these decision making. So talking about a very simple straightforward example when it comes to the cruise control of a car, the cruise control system is to drive you out on a constant speed no matter the roads are downhill or uphill but maintains the set speed altogether. But as soon as human wants to take over the control, they apply the brake and the set control or the cruise control will be lost. That means the human can take over the controls once again whenever they want it. So it's not completely automatic is what we are referring to. So testing for autonomy will require following things. That is testing whether the system requests human intervention for a specific scenario when the system should be relinquishing the controls. Such scenarios could include a change to the operational environment or the system exceeding the limits of its autonomy. That means the system should, doesn't have any further capability to take over or control that, then they can go ahead and fulfill that conditional based criteria and request humans to uh, have their intervention. So we must test for those things. Second is testing whether the system requests human intervention when the system should be relinquishing uh, controls after a specified period of time. So one is based on condition fulfillment. Second is, of course, a particular period of time. And the third is testing whether the system unnecessarily requests human intervention when it should still be working autonomously, which simply means that the negative scenario of this particular <laughs> scenario, like positives are in the condition-driven item or the time-driven-based uh, approach. And third is what if that's not something what should be requested by the human beings or to the human beings. So it may be helpful to use boundary value analysis applied to the environmental operating environments to generate the necessary conditions for this testing. It can be challenging to define how the parameters that determine autonomy manifest themselves in the operating environment and to create the test scenarios which depend on the nature of the autonomy. So this is one thing which we see as challenging parameter to deal with. It's not necessary that we can certainly create all the conditions and all the you know situations what we need to really test, but con creating them would be a difficult job, what we see as one of the challenges. Well, that was a small topic to talk about what points and parameters to take into account when testing autonomous AI-based system. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. That should be all what we have for you now, and we'll be getting back to you with another tutorial to discuss further. So. That's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.